Oh, Economist Peter said. Maurice is with me now. Peter, forgive me, but I want to do a big picture thing here. Seems to me wealthy people don't feel inflation and they vote Democrat. The rest of us do feel inflation and vote Republican. In American politics, I think that's a real switch. It used to be the rich voted Republican and the poor voted Democrat. There's a real sea change in politics. You agree with that? Yes, the rich are a lot richer than they used to be. You know, there was an article recently about, will we have the first trillionaire soon? And the answer is probably not, because once people get 100, 200, 300 billion dollars, they get more out of giving it away, because they can't buy anything else. <laughs> and so they get social status. Likewise, you get a certain amount of social status by being for, you know, letting minorities ahead or, you know, being for more equality or bumping taxes a little bit. The other thing also is, let's face it, they don't pay those taxes that often. They have ways around them. You know, when you have really a lot of money, there are all kinds of trusts you can set up to avoid the estate tax and so on and so forth. And, and, and so, you know, it's easy to be very noble if you have a sharp accountant. Okay, Donald Trump sounded the alarm on his tax cuts that are set to expire. Watch this. They must hate our country because there's no other reason that they can be doing the things they do. Take a look. The taxes, they want to raise your taxes times four. They want to let the Trump tax cuts, the biggest tax cuts in the history of our country, they want them to expire. Your taxes are going to go through the roof. You take a look at regulations. They're throwing regulations. You can't breathe. You can't even breathe with what they're doing. Well, Peter, is Trump right? If, the tax, if his tax cuts expire, does that equal a tax increase for just about everybody? Well, absolutely. And, you know, let, what we're just talking about, consider the estate tax. That rolls back to uh, an exemption for 500, uh, 5 million per person, which is not a great deal of money. What the Democrats are most interested in is not taxing the really wealthy, because after all, who bankro bankrolls the Democratic Party, but rather people who make more than a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. You know, somehow or other, it's ill-gotten gain. If you, you're thrifty, you go to school, you study something useful, you're successful in a profession, or you start a business, you're a bad person to a Democrat, because after all, who does the thinking? It's people who are in less that write for the New York Times, like David Leonhardt, who, you know, is constantly writing about how we should raise people's taxes, that the majority want taxes on the wealthy. Sure, if I you gave do. you a, a grammar school class in an old-fashioned small town where there's a few rich people, do you think 27 of the students would vote for the three wealthy ones to pay for the field trip to Washington, or that they should all chip in equally to go to Washington at Christmas time? I have a feeling they would say, gee, the rich guy ought to pay for it. And that's what this is really all about. It's You're about, right. you know, envy right. and, and, and basically using the political system to accomplish what people chose not to accomplish by hard work and thrift through most of their lives. A little later in the show, we're going to do an editorial on the wealth tax. And here it comes. Peter Marisi, thank you very much, sir. I know we'll see you again soon.